Hi hello everyone, welcome back again. In today's tutorial I am going to show you, how to create sand clock from scratch and how to animate it. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. First go to insert tab. Shapes and insert teardrop shape. Rotate hit. Duplicate the shape by holding shift plus control and drag using left mouse button and rotate hit. Group both the shape and align to the center and middle to the slide. Increase the size by clicking on one of the four corner handles. By holding shift plus control and drag using left mouse button. Ungroup the shape using shift plus control and G and move the bottom shape a little up to make a overlap. And group it again using control and G. Duplicate the shape by holding shift plus control and drag using left mouse button and ungroup the shape. Decrease the size little to make the inner shape. Then add outline and no fill to the outer shape. And add fill and no outline to the inner shape. Select both the outer shape and merge them one. Using format, merge shapes, Union. Now create the base for the sand clock using the rounded rectangle from Insert Shapes. Add outline and no fill. Now duplicate the upper base to make the lower base. And rotate, flip vertical. Now distribute by selecting the middle sand clock, upper and lower base shape. Now the sand clock is ready. To animate the sand clock, duplicate the slide. To do so select the slide and press Ctrl and D. Now go back to slide 1 to add the initial animations. Delete the top inner shape with fill and group all the shapes to one using Ctrl and G. Now go to Animation tab, add animation, spin, change the duration to 0 0.50. Now the sand clock is rotating 360 degree. To edit the rotation, click the drop down arrow, go to effect options and adjust the rotation amount to 180 degree. Go to slide 2 to add the advanced animation, select the top inner shape, go to animation tab, add animation, and select lines, under motion paths. Change the duration to 0.15. Now adjust the animation path. Then go to insert tab, shapes, custom shape and draw the custom shape, to make the sand flow from top to bottom. Add fill with no outline. Use edit points, to edit the shape so that the shape should not overlap with the outer shape. Then add wipe animation to the custom shape, with effect options, from top. Now we can focus on the animation for the bottom shape. Add a rectangle shape, overlapping the bottom teardrop shape. Duplicate the bottom teardrop shape by holding shift plus control and drag using left mouse button. And align that to its original position. Select both the rectangle and duplicated teardrop shape and subtract from format, merge shapes, subtract. Change the color of the rectangle to white with no outline. Select both the rectangle and teardrop shape, and send to back. So that if you move the teardrop shape to bottom, you will find the teardrop shape is hiding. Add line animation to teardrop shape to move up.
adjust the animation path. Now make the top tier drop shape to hide, with respect to the bottom animation. Add exit animation using add animation, and do not add the exit wipe animation directly, as it will replace the existing animations. Change the effect options, form top, duration 5, starts with previous. Then add animations to the custom shape. Exit wipe animation, from top. Starts with previous. Duration 1.25 and with delay 3.85. Now select the outer shape, two base shapes, and top tier drop shape. Add a peer animation using add animation. Make that as the initial animation, by dragging that to the top of the list. And change the first animation to starts with previous. Now go to the first slide. Select the shape which was grouped already with spin animation, add disappear using add animation, starts with after previous. Finally, go to slide 2, select all the objects. Copy and go to slide 1 and paste it. And make that send to back, from format. Delete slide 2. So here it's our final slideshow. Hope you liked it. Please don't forget to like comment, share and subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching this video, see you in my next video.